have YouTube on. And this is like the oldest song. For some of you that watch my videos, you probably weren't even alive when this was on. Shoot! I have really been bad on my walking. See where I'm at right now? I gotta get, but today's a non-workout day. God, so this song, what date, what is the date? I don't, it doesn't say, 1982. So I was uh, eighth grade, I think. But anyway, it's just so funny because I remember, I have lipstick there. Anyway, I just remember like looking at her wanting to have her earrings and every single thing that she ever did. And it's probably, it's a cool song. Anyway guys, hey, happy it's Tuesday that I'm shooting this. I'm actually shooting this video at six o'clock. I brought my video equipment out Sunday and Monday when I was in Phoenix with the full intention that Whitney and I were going to shoot videos and we didn't. I'm going to refer to this in a second. But I'm back in Chicago where it's um, at least warmer. I came home to all the snow being melted, so there's that. Um, but I set this video equipment out today. I got home at like one in the morning last night. Um, that's the one thing that's bad when you're traveling from the West Coast to the East Coast. That day sucks when you're traveling from the did I say that right? West Coast, East Coast, when you're traveling from here, which really is Midwest, out there, it's okay. But I pretty much have a whole day of traveling when I come home. And I got home, like I said, really late. So I slept in and today just got away from me. Here it is, six o'clock. I meant to do some videos at noon. What does that tell you? Um, but anyway, I figured that my first video today, I have so much to tell you guys. I am so, happy I'm like a new person um, because of going out to Phoenix meeting with Dr. Riska and his team getting answers to all of this stuff I have so much to tell you guys this is going to be just the beginning of me sharing with you all of this hormonal imbalance madness because so many of you have written to me in the past but a lot more people because I'm being very vocal about it why because I know a lot of you are dealing with it men and women but so many people have written to me going, please, you know, tell me you're going to post this on the blog. Tell me you guys are going to do stuff about it because I've been dealing with this or this or this for, I've seen so many people saying five or six years like me. Um, if I really, and I'm going to, yes, the answer is yes. I'm going to detail all of this on my blog. So if you're not subscribed to my blog, as I say this, I realize I need to update my RSSS. Did I just say RSSSS? My subscription button on my blog but kellyalexa.com you should also be subscribed to our YouTube channel because there's gonna be a lot more uh, stuff coming on um, with me updating you guys on all this stuff but I I hope I don't cry when I start telling you guys some of the stuff because it is a little bit heck it's not a little bit it's very emotional for me to have gone out there and been dealing with the stuff that I have been dealing with for the better part of five years now probably for, for sure. Um, but me thinking I'm crazy, you know, I, there's something wrong with me, you know, both from a fitness perspective in having challenges reaching my goals, but also from, you know, uh, just a, an overall like lifestyle, health and being able to sleep and, and having migraines and headaches all the time. Hold on. I don't like it when an ad comes in. I just want to play my music. Um, this is another old song. Remember this song? People like me that are old. Um, so I just, I, I can't even describe to you. So I'm going to get into all that in my next video and in my next many videos. I will be describing to you guys in my videos and on my blog. Uh, so tune in to both because I will tell you guys, I'm going to start and break it up into like little chapters of what my symptoms were, when they started, what doctors I went to see, what they prescribed. Obviously all these things were wrong because until you see a specialist who understands hormonal health and hormonal balance and a treatment for that, you're basically just going to someone who's guessing. I can't tell you how many doctors told me there was nothing wrong um, with me. And clearly, if you've been watching my videos for longer than five seconds, you know that's baloney. I almost said a naughty word. Keep it a G. Um, anyway, what I thought I would do for today, it's five minutes in, I'm keeping all my videos under 10 minutes. 
um, is I'm gonna focus today. Um, you guys, I just got back from being out in Phoenix with Whitney, the most awesome Whitney, who is the uh, person that really pushed me to get the blood work done and see Dr. Riska out in Phoenix. I'll put links to all of these people below. Um, but she's changed my life, you know. I, I look at her and Kelly Gregorakis as just these two people that have changed everything for me. These women are amazing. Um, but I thought that I would do this video and be like, just share with you guys what I'm coming home with because my entire counter is filled with stuff that I bought because of Whitney. <laughs> and I'm already thinking, I really miss her dogs. Like, I want dogs. I'm not lying. She had three dogs and they're so cute. I'll post a picture of them on my blog. But I'm, I came home and, and I don't have pets right now because I travel so much. Um, but I came home and it was almost like a reflex from being out at her place for six or seven days that we'd walk in and I was always looking down at the floor, where are the dogs? So I came home last night and I'm like, what am I doing? I'm looking down for dogs and they're not here. Anyway, so this literally, I'm gonna wrap this up and tell you some of the cool things that I um, have gone and purchased my first day home because of the last week at, at um, Whitney's house. But you guys, this is the cool thing, honestly, about, you know, this is pretty much, this is why I get so excited about what we do with at Fitfluential is, you know, we, we share products and recipes and secrets, but I mean, this is the kind of stuff that makes fitness and having a fitness and healthier lifestyle more fun. Like some of the stuff that Whitney served me, and I just mean that this is what we had for breakfast or lunch, I was like, oh my God, you know, that's amazing. And it's, it's just a simple little thing you can go out by yourself, but all of a sudden it's like, it, it adds variety and good taste and all of that stuff. So this is something I'm assuming is handmade. Um, but one of the things that we discovered out there, I'll get into that privately in another blog, was I went to see a, um, sports conditioning specialist. I know that's not the best way for me to describe him, but he worked on my shoulder. If you guys could see my shoulder underneath here. And yes, for those of you guys that are writing, I will flex when I'm not wearing something like this. He worked on my shoulder and my back, but we also did some um, analysis of my form on squats and walking lunges. And my calves, you guys, are so tight that Whitney said, not only do you need to be foam rolling, and Steve said this, Steve's the guy that worked on me, He's like, you need to be foam rolling every day. You need to be doing these stretches and, and whatever. Because um, my shoulder kind of got semi bothered again. I don't want to say injured, bothered. Um, this is for the front of my calves. So if you can see it, there's an indentation here and that's got to be for the front of my calves. Because basically Whitney did a squat assessment of me and showed that I get to a certain point and then I'm bending way over, which is obviously poor form, but it's because my calves are tight. So that's number one. That's obviously, I don't think something you can buy. I have the trigger point therapy system and it doesn't have this. It actually has the opposite for the bottom side of my calves that I lay my calves on and that's painful as all get out. Um, but it does the job. We're gonna be getting into a lot of foam rolling and stretching and how all of that is crucial. Try to focus. So here are just some of the other things that I went to Walmart today. Remember this song? Okay, these are all from when I was like 25 years old and when mullets were in, in big. And hair almost as big as I have it today. But that's another thing I bought. Whitney told me that there's a teasing brush. I've been using a comb. And Whitney would come down for breakfast every morning and be like, like voguing it out at breakfast. I'm like, girl, how'd you get your hair like that? She's like, a teasing brush. And I'm like, shut up. And she's like, no, I'm serious. I'm like, shut up! Teasing brush. Okay, this was like $4 at Walmart. There's actually a teasing brush that makes your hair big and fluffy like this. I don't even have a hairspray in. And this has actually come down a little bit. So I went and bought a teasing brush, never knew. Uh, also, I wanted to not go tanning like I did every single day in my life, but when I was younger. Uh, but I want to be tan. She told me this is what her favorite tanning cream is. And tan Whitney has a really nice tan. Like, I would have thought it was from the sun. She's like, no, I use this. But she also exfoliates a lot, so that's not something I've been doing. We're going to ask her what she uses for that. Breakfast a couple times, she made me. Gosh darn it, I'm at 944. She made me eggs, and then she heated up one of these Fiber One bars. So heat it up. We all know that heating up protein bars can make them even more delicious. Quest bars, hello. These Fiber One bars, especially this flavor, they have like a ton, but A, you're getting fiber. B, 
these were delicious. So it's something that gives you a little sweet tooth, a little carbiness, but you know, one thing is 90 calories and how many carbs? Six, 18 carbs, five grams of fiber, uh, three grams of fat, 90 calories. So I went out and bought obviously a lot. The other thing is, and if you follow me on Instagram, Kelly Alexa on Instagram, you should be following me everywhere, hello. Um, she made these protein pancakes to die for, to die for. I'm slamming things all over my counter. And she had this, and she just took a packet of this out, put it in a bowl, egg whites, half a scoop if I'm correct. I think I used a scoop. Half a scoop of flavored protein powder. I think like she put banana protein powder in. Who knew? I always am boring. I've had chocolate and vanilla. Let me tell you, I'm gonna be branching out with flavors. So, uh, one of these, um, a little bit of maple, excuse me, almond flavoring, so almond extract, little squirt of sugar-free syrup, your egg whites, your protein powder, I guess probably if you're having egg whites, you do half a scoop of protein powder, and then just take a little bit of banana, maybe if it's a big banana, half of a banana, if it's a small one, maybe a quarter, you don't need a lot, mush it all up, add it in there, what's the word I'm looking for? Stir it all up, mush it up, and cook it like a pancake, and then, shut up, I left it out. It's a uh, almond butter maple flavor. You put like, not even a tablespoon on the top. You just spread a little bit with sugar-free syrup. It will make you weep and call out for the angels. I'm just telling you. So there's that. What's the last thing? Oh, hadn't even tried this yet. Hello? Secondly, well, this is like thirdly or fourthly. Is that even a word? Um, I had her coffee with skim milk in it. I am the person that if you ever told me I'd have coffee with skim milk in it, I'd be like, she's one of those people that puts skim milk in her coffee, ew. Okay, I had, but she uses all flavored coffee. So does my man friend, he uses all flavored coffee. I always get plain coffee, like Italian roast, and then I put in coffee mate. But my coffee mate, if I, if I measure it out, has six carbs. She, I used her skim milk and then I put, but she had all flavored coffee and I realized that's the key because I did not mind my coffee with skim milk in it. If you would have told me several years ago I'd be doing that, I'd be like, are you crazy? I, there is no way. I did. So I went out and bought all of this ha hazelnut, caramel drizzle, never would have thought that made the difference, but having the flavor in the coffee and then adding skim milk, I'm just looking at the mullets, it's cracking me up, really awesome. Flavored coffee, and then the skim milk is in there. The almond butter that's flavored with maple um, is in there. And I'm gonna wrap it up for today while I'm cheersing you with my Diet Mountain Dew, which is also my latest obsession. But those are my Whitney wish list. It's no longer a wish list because I bought it since I came home. And more in my next post tomorrow. Subscribe, follow, Kelly Alexa, everywhere you go. Bye.